disappointing performances as that one was not sure if it got an edge but it died in front of the keeper it's running away and will it be cut off at the boundary no it won't so interesting call here and it is runs oh big shout big shout gone umpire lisa stalaker had that one given well before the umpire in the middle Ball and that's nicely played. As that's driven beautifully. Nearly shot of the morning. All sorts of data is done. Opens up the shoulders and that's the first six of the morning. To Ben Dunk, it's taken 18 overs. You want your best batsman in there at the end and... Oh, tries the reverse, missed it completely. And Michael Cormack picks up the second wicket. It's well and truly duels. High score of the competition is George Bailey. Says thanks very much. Here and how good's Elise Villani for the scorches and... Doolan drives nicely. Sweep and gone. Doolan, three boundaries in the previous over. It certainly is. As this one skied. Wade goes high. And that is over the rope. So it's six. I'll tell you what, Nick Winter stuck in the fence. Look at that. He's gonna, he might need a hand to get it out. No, he gets it out. Oh, it's Tom Cooper. Comes into the attack and pulls a long hop. First delivery and Bailey taking full account of it with no fielders outside. It's taken him 3,884 days. As Bailey goes over the top and goes over the top for six. And there it is, George Bailey's second 50 of the JLT One Day Cup. 55 against New South Wales. Bailey hits that one nearly to us. That's a huge six. Deliveries. Matty Wade goes long. Does he have enough on it? Yes, he does. gone. Bailey tosses the bat in the air. He understands he didn't get any of that. Disappointed. Wade miss hit and a wicket. The Redbacks fight back late. Back to back wickets in back to back overs. Straight at the sticks. Silk now batting way outside leg. Catching opportunity. Silk is gone. Nice work from Valente. Silk not happy with himself. Catch up. And One bounce off the fence. And that's on the main street of North City Oval. Faulkner goes big. Last ball. Daniel Worrell to Tom Rogers. And it'll just be a single. What a good final 10 overs it has been for the Tigers. Rogers in first attacking shot that's really come off the middle of the bat. It goes for runs, four runs for Alex Carey. Rogers has got to get it back on money straight away. And he doesn't. Back to back fours to Carey. to pick up a Look wicket in his first him. delivery. Cut just backward of point, a run away for a four, two fours in the first over. Cal Ferguson faces. Stay tuned to after you see the final ball bold as this one is high. It is short coming in to take 
A good catch. Is Cameron Boyce. Boyce in for his third over. Over the top goes Tom Cooper for four. His first boundary. He just saw a little bit of flight from Boyce. He finishes, Sunday finishes with a day-night game. As I said, opportunity for a wicket here. Tommy Cooper just spoons one to mid on. Starting to announce. This one high. Buchanan takes it. A great diving effort in the deep. Nick Buchanan. Buchanan is the captain. He is the Victorian. Juicy full toss and take it. A poor delivery, a poor shot. Certainly the worst thing to do as a fielder. Oh, dunk strikes again. The part time has got two. Not only can the Tasmanians not believe it, but the South Australians and Jake Lehman can't believe it. The number one spinner in town. Oh, and he does so first ball. Oh, Cameron Boyce. A beautiful first up effort on Joe Many. Just move them like 30 metres. Oh, big shout gone. Boyce has got two. That one plumb in front. Catching opportunity here, easily taken. Boyce has three. Whether it be bold or LB. Well, that'll be four. All fielders out, all straight. And there is the final wicket. We said he wasn't gonna die wondering. And when you're batting nine, you don't need to, because this game was done and dusted before Daniel Worrell strode to the crease.